So then, we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end, as per Yerushiahu the prophet at the 61st chapter, where then Yerushiahu the prophet, during his own time, he was rejected, he was mocked, during the time of the tabernacle then, he was there teaching, he was there pointing the people back to the instructions and they made a mockery of him, and he was revealing then the time of restoration, prior of, even when the spring feast was not completed. He was then went so far as then having the understandings of the time when the new earth would be then refurbished. This is how far beyond he was during his time. And then, similarly, we find in ourselves during this very time where then the world is then going through a period of transition and then transitioning back to what it was as far as the tabernacle is concerned so then nations can have directives from heaven as per instructions and the world yet is found during the time of the thousand years of the seat. It is amazing how people get desensitized and they think they have some sort of workings of their own where then they don't acknowledge the new revealings of the scripture. Sometimes they don't talk about it, they don't read it, but they spend time in their own lusts. Let's understand, for instance, the uh, story of Esther. Esther was then a foreigner. She was a set apart from the lineage of the Isaac. And she was in Susa, the capital. And then amongst many women, in Vashti was the first lady of the kingdom. And the king, obviously, he was pagan, he was a scoundrel. And someday he threw up a party and told his wife to show up before the entire crowd naked. How nice she was. So he gave the order as the king so she then she would show up before the whole crowd naked. And the first lady, no, I'm not going to show up myself naked before those drunken people. Because of this she was deposed. And then Esther, a person can say a nobody from the people, the Creator had a plan. He decided to place her in a position of responsibility and authority for the specific purpose. You know, during the time of a transition when the Creator then is in charge, it's very easy for people to try to enjoy themselves and doing the same mundane as in the past so they think they have some sort of special ability where they can understand the times and seasons they manipulate with their own understandings. You know the Creator could have a choice of another person in your place. And this is what Mordecai had to remind Esther many times. There came a time she was enjoying of being the first lady. She was enjoying of being partner of the king. But Mordecai on the other side of the fence, he said, you know what? You shape up. You don't belong with these pagans. The Creator has placed you there for a time as this. You come around as a braggart, try to be somebody. You have to get your senses and understand why you are there. That's how Mordecai treated her. We read sometimes, you know, the scripture as this religiosity, jargon, junk, where the Creator is so, you know, so high and mighty that people make him religiosity rather than understanding he's a person. 
But there she was. She was the first lady and enjoying herself and being part of the king. And, you know, she was reigning. And very often, Mordecai had to remind her why she was there. Because obviously, when the Creator is doing a job, doing a work, He can always have somebody else take her place. And in fact, if a person that is chosen for a specific purpose acts then as a normal, any other person, why would the person be given the choice of being where a person is at? If the Creator wanted the main Dane as it was before, he wouldn't be chosen for the position. But then people always rely on some sort of ability of their own, you know. They can think they can gather the information from somebody else, and they can get the best of both worlds. Our country, scandalized as it was, trying to always work out deals with other nations and other situations in time of a transition. You can't use what you learned during the time of the thousand years. That's what Esther had to understand. If the Creator want the main Dane, she would not be chosen for the position. The Mordecai was very stern. We read from the scripture and had this Mambi Pambi Mordecai on the other side of the fence. Oh, you were then chosen for such a time as this. No, he was very harsh. Many times he had to get on her face and say, You are there because of this, this, and this. Do you understand? And she had to turn around from her enjoying being then the first lady and understand why she was there for. It's very easy when the people they get in a position of responsibility then they forget who they were. You know the Creator can replace you very instantly with somebody else. Today you have a position, the next day you don't. If you think you can manipulate on your own based upon what you have learned thus far from the past where it never worked, but then you consider yourself so able that you can make it to work with old junkies, the Creator is not interested in it because He knows it doesn't work. So don't think Mordecai was this mamby pamby on this other side of the fence over there, only watching from afar. Oh no. Mordecai was in charge of the situation. We don't understand how to read it. Esther was the mamby pamby. She was very weak. She was mesmerized by kingdom, and palace, and money, and trade, and drinkings, and parties. Sometimes she would be very self-conscious of being part of it because they were a group of drunks, walking around naked and having sex in front of the other people. It was a bit uncomfortable. But when then the drunkards were out of there and people were sober, she enjoyed being there in the midst of the palace. And sometimes she would forget why she was there. And Mordecai had to come out on her face and say, you know what, this is what you are there for. And she had to turn around, downcast it, and do as told. We are during a time of a transition and whatsoever we have learned from the thousand years of deceit won't be used. There is already a set plan from the past. There is a country related with trade neutral 
very near in the future. It is required for our country to work and to do our taxes. Instant tax deduction so then we can understand the system coming. But then politicians and people in those positions comes in new people and then they think they have some sort of ability. They can't have ability. Whatsoever was tried didn't work. There is an agenda coming, and if we are not in line with it, the country is going to be a chaos. But then people, for some reason, when they get in those positions, they think they can manipulate to try to make it work. There is already an agenda. Either the world is in line with the agenda, or the world then goes to chaos. In this world means where people are at. Their understandings, their countries, the worlds of their own. Now because if you do this then let that person do this and then the other person do this. No, no there is an agenda. Our country must have instant tax deductions. But then people always come up with excuses. Oh, it's because of your interpretation. All you have to have respect somebody else's opinion. Not with my country then and my government is going to a hole as reptiles. If you don't understand the scriptures for what they are and you defend a system that is going to place your government in a hole, then you are the stupid and you are not going a hole with them. You want to stay on the surface. So if you think you have some sort of ability during this time of a transition but using then old ways, you know, of the thousand years of the seed, forget it. We have to understand the agenda. There is nothing people can do other than reading the instructions and understanding the agenda. Mordecai was the wisest of the entire kingdom. The king was a scoundrel, there was a party maker. Esther was a mamby pamby. And Mordecai was the fort. He was there on the other side of the fence watching very closely. He was the wisest in the entire kingdom. There we are. We are facing a huge system coming in the future and we are not prepared. Read the scripture. Read the Galah. What do you read? Every nation, every kingdom doing trade with China. What do you understand of China? We consider them inferior. But then when the system comes, it's going to be worldwide. That's why every nation is going to be doing trade with China. And very scarcely people or nations, they're going to be doing trade with each other as far as a system-wise is concerned. It's going to be only a system. And then the rest of the relevant decisions are going to be made in Arabia.
But then people they are trying to get their own agendas of the time of a thousand years of deceit. Nations, they don't have the privilege anymore as they used to do back during the time of the thousand years. Those times are gone. The situation of Department of State then flying around talking crap among us other nations, those times are nearly gone. Those people are going to be extremely awkward. They're going to start to understand their incompetence. And they're going to start searching, why is this awkward situation? Because there is an agenda. We either are in line with the agenda or not in line with the agenda. And diplomats of countries going out to speak with other people, it's going to be extremely awkward. Try to understand, the first relationship with Ibrahim and the first son relates with the Gentile level of the nations. The second son, tabernacling. Why are you chosen for a position for such a time as this? Is that to do the main day as before? Or do you truly understand the agenda? Because if you try to do what was done in the past, the Creator can replace you. So let's try to make the situation very plain and straight. As far as the understanding of the Megillah of Esther, she was Mambi Pambi. Try to understand. What the scripture is portraying is a person absolutely vulnerable and had to have a person on the other side of the fence, the wisest, guiding a person from afar. Mordecai was the wisest. Esther was under orders. And she had to have this combat in herself of enjoying the time and the season or doing what she should do. And every time she was out of the path, Mordecai was there, and she heard it. <laughs> 